So in this video, I'm talking about one of the most beloved games of all time, Minecraft. And in this, I'm explaining a couple concepts when it comes to Linux. Now, most people know it's named to Linux because it runs off Java. However, this is something a little bit different. I'm going to show uh, part of the server setup and who we're using on that, and then go into the in-depth of how to actually use a custom modded server and connect it using your Linux-based machine. So first off, as far as hosting a server and building it, that's obviously gonna be a separate video because that was actually pretty in depth. I ended up getting contacted by SkySilk. Uh, they're kind of a VPS vendor, much like uh, Amazon Web Services or Google Cloud Platform. And they were interested in sponsoring the channel, which I was like, hey, that's great, but I've never used them. So for the past month, I've been trying out a bunch of different stuff on their data center servers. And I decided, hey, let's fire up a public Minecraft server. Now, I have been an admin for quite some time, so I have hardened the server a little bit, so you guys will be able to jump into this server. I'm allowing up to 100 people simultaneously to join this, and I wanted to create kind of a huge realm for everybody to play in. With that said, I wanted a custom modded one using a custom version of Minecraft so we can really kind of test all this out and I wanted to show you how to set that up as well. Now, the actual mod I ended up going with was Lord of the Rings and oh my goodness, this is about a six year developed mod and it is incredible. So I'm actually gonna leave links in the description below to kind of show you how to play it what you're going to do as far as questing traversing the actual environment and it is survival so you can die there's no creative mode or anything like that so i think we'll have a lot of fun with this and i'm going to do it on a live stream later tonight as well so with that said let's jump over to the desktop show you how to install a custom modded minecraft and play on these custom servers Okay, to start out here, we actually need to go ahead and download the Technic Launcher. It is a fantastic utility where you can launch and load modified and older versions of Minecraft really easy with just a click of a button. So to install it, just go to Lutris to this web page. The actual link will be down in the description below. Feel free to click on that and then just simply come here and click install. Once that pops up, install the program and it'll be right in your Lutris. It'll be under Technic Launcher. I went ahead and just renamed it to Minecraft just so I know. And then I click on it and then we hit play. The initial time it'll have you sign into your Minecraft account. Go ahead and sign in. There's a couple things I like to change in this launcher right off the get go. I hit launcher options and then one start in the mod packs tab so I don't have to mess with discover and get kind of ads and other stuff in here. And then uh, I go ahead and just save this and close. The next thing is you'll only have these ones right here. Well, we want the Lord of the Rings or the LOTR mod. To get a mod pack, you can just type LOTR for the one we're looking for. And it goes ahead and pulls in all the mods that are capable for this specific thing. So for this, let's go ahead and click LOTR and then you'll have an install button, click install. And then from there, it's simply play. It is literally that easy. So you hit install twice and you're finished. You just follow the prompts and this is easier than the Windows based installer, if you can believe that. It is amazing. So this is how I play Minecraft in Linux. So let's go ahead and launch into this and I'll go ahead and show you that custom server uh, that I talked about. This custom server again was a VPS that I completely built from the ground up. Uh, I'm using Ubuntu 18.04 on that. So I'm using the LTS version of Ubuntu server. Wow, that is bright. All right, from this screen, it already loaded all this stuff. So it, you can see in the bottom left here, it's using Minecraft 1.7.10. Uh, it's using Microsoft Forge. And then also it has all the mods loaded that we need for Lord of the Rings Minecraft to work. Bring Middle Earth to Minecraft. Pretty darn awesome. So let's go ahead and hit multiplayer. 
And this is it right here. It's CTT's Middle Earth, uh, 99 max on the population. Again, I put this on a pretty beefy server and amped all the memory requirements for Minecraft times, I think, 10. So it should actually technically hold about 200 people, but I went ahead for entry day, just put 99. I don't even think we'll hit 99 people regardless, so I thought it was fine. So we'll go ahead and hit add server, and the server address for this, you can just put ctt middle earth server name doesn't really matter the server address is going to be minecraft.christitus.com colon two five five six five this is the minecraft server i've set up and hardened on that vps now i'll go and show you how to actually secure a minecraft server because if you leave it completely wide open it can be bad and honestly this one i left unwhitelisted meaning anybody can join it However, uh, probably end up locking that down. Now, if you leave a server open like that, there's a good chance someone can get in, do some uh, debauchery, I guess is how the best way to put it. And instead of that happening, I do nightly backup. So if something like that happens, let me know in Discord and I'll just restore last night's backup. So not a big issue by any means. Someone could completely nuke it and I could easily restore with a snapshot. So very simple and easy coming from that but with that said uh we'll go ahead and hit cancel this is the server we'll just join it and you can kind of see what minecraft is again this one it's kind of a special rule set so go ahead and look in the description down below they have an entire wiki wikipedia explaining what everything is um, the big thing is when you first get in, you want to go ahead and build like the red book and you can get like mini quests and all this stuff. And it's a way of tracking what's going on in the game because you'll literally undertake quests and things like that. The other thing to know that's kind of cool about this is you see you have a compass in the top right. You also have kind of a faction standing. So if you want to be an evil guy, you can just go ahead and slaughter a whole bunch of hobbits and then join the armies of Mordor, which is kind of neat. Or if you're a good guy, you can go ahead and go towards, you know, and, and help with the questing and then go and actually try and defeat those armies. So it's kind of cool how they do the factions where you can actually be the bad guy if you want. So that's that's pretty sweet. Uh, so if you hit L on the map, you can actually see how big this is. Right now, we're just in the Shire. So it unlocks all these waypoints when you enter a new realm. So I haven't unlocked all these or the surrounding ones. Now, the next ones I probably will go is like towards the town of Bree. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Oh, wow. We got a ways to go. But this is the entire land of Mordor. So you got, I think the elves are down here. Um, you got Gondor over here next to Mordor. And each... Each land, as you scroll in, you see there's a quite a bit. And this is a ton of land mass, too. Like, I think it took me like five minutes just to... Where Where am I? I've, I've already lost myself. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it took me like five minutes just to go from Waymeet to like Hobbiton, just to give you an idea, just the scale of this world. So really neat how they've done this in depth. Uh, the factions right here achievements it kind of shows you where you should go what what's your next goal so it kind of gives you a more linear path uh it's still pretty darn open world you can do whatever you want but it gives you a nice little linear path uh you create fellowships so if more people jump on here they could create their own fellowship i'm hoping in the stream later tonight uh we can get a fellowship started and do like five or ten people and then other people branch out and get their own group going um we'll see how many people we get it'd be pretty neat and then you get like certain titles for actually uh doing things so i think at the very start you just get starter titles so i can do like mercenary and say select title and i'm now mercenary chris titus deck uh shields you get awarded this a award for reaching 1000 alignment with dudane of the north so that's pretty neat. And then you get some options here. So you can turn friendly fire off so you don't hurt your teammates and things like that. And uh, that's pretty much it. There's a lot more that goes into this mod. Um, but I just wanted to show you the basics of this. It's such a great, great tool that I really hope 
everyone really enjoys this and I'm going to follow up probably with the Minecraft server tutorial just because a lot of the tutorials I saw online were pretty poor, poorly written and the ones on YouTube were next to worthless because almost all of them were Windows based, which I don't see how you can ever have a reliable server running a GUI through Windows that just seems counterintuitive to me. I like dedicated servers that are text only through terminal. So we'll go ahead and probably slate that for maybe next week. It depends on how well this video does and how many requests I get to make that video. But again, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. And I hope to see you later tonight or any Tuesday and Thursday night on my stream. Check me out over on Twitch and I'll see you on the next video.